Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Do you remember this video? It says how to know if your iPhone screen is original. Okay, I did this video a while ago in March last year and it got a lot of likes and a lot of comments, but also a lot of people saying that this method doesn't work, that I was lying. So I just want to um, talk more about this point, okay? And I have two iPhones here. These are the iPhone A Plus. Can you tell just by looking at the screen what screen is original and what screen is generic? Can you tell by just looking at the iPhones? Well, look at this. I have them both at maximum brightness. And if you click, you will see that the one with true tone is the real one. And this one without true tone is the generic one. Now, a lot of people are saying in the comments that you can activate the true tone on generic screens. And that is true. If you have the software and the hardware to do it, a technician can do it. All right that make it harder to know what screen is real or not. And that's why if you have an iPhone to compare, I think you can tell. This is, the colors are richer here. You know, the reds are darker, the blues are darker. I hope you can see it on the video. This is like wash out, you know? This screen is not the same as this one and I can see it right there. Let me compare it with another phone. And this is the iPhone 5SE. You can see also that um, the screen has a maximum brightness. And you can see that this screen is brighter than this one. Okay, let's compare it with an iPhone 6S. And let me go to the wallpaper. And here it's not that noticeable, but you can still notice that this one is better. This one looks better, has more richer colors, you know. But remember guys, you can only use the, the true tone trick if you're using an iPhone 8 and up, 8, A plus, XR, you know, and up because on this 6S or on the 5S, you don't have true tone, okay? So you cannot look for that. But on the iPhone 8 Plus, you do have true tone. And you can see, you know, if you have true tone, that's a good sign at least, you know? It's not like a definitely answer of saying, okay, this one is original and this one is fake, but it's a good clue, it's a good step, all right? To have true tone. And then again, you can see that this is kind of wash out. You can see it clearly here, guys. Look at this, all right? But what happens if you don't have a second iPhone to compare it with, you know? Then the problem starts. How do you know? Hopefully you experienced iPhones before and you can tell that this screen is kind of washed out. So this is a fake screen. Another way to know is, again, by the true tone. You don't have true tone and this is an A+, plus, so you should have true tone. Other than that, guys, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell, you know, but um, the thing is that Apple doesn't sell original parts. So if you buy a screen, you're going to have to buy it uh, generic or you can try to find the companies that create the screens for Apple and try to buy from them directly. But you're still going to have to activate the True Tone with software and hardware. So it's not that easy to have that True Tone here. Now that I have these two iPhones 8 Plus and I notice immediately that this one has better quality. And please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys, in that way you can help me and I can create more videos for you. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to put uh, any questions you have in the comments. I will try to answer. Thank you.